This dinoflagellate is phototrophic, performing photosynthesis in its golden brown chloroplast for energy. This dinoflagellate does not perform photosynthesis. It's heterotrophic and it preys on bacteria, cyanobacteria, diverse eukaryotes including other dinoflagellates for its energy. Some dinoflagellates are referred to as mixotrophic because they can perform both photosynthesis and predation ingesting their prey through phagocytosis. Different dinoflagellates ingest their prey through different mechanisms, while some simply are able to suck them in through a depression in the sulcal region, Others have these false feet or pseudopods which can extend from the cell and aid in the ingestion of their prey. A few dinoflagellates are even parasites able to affect protists or even animals. Some dinoflagellates, especially those of the genus Symbiodinium, serve as endosymbionts. They can live inside other organisms performing photosynthesis and then get some benefits from those organisms. They can occur inside protist groups such as radiolarins and foraminiferins. They can occur inside animals such as jellyfish and sea anemones, even a giant clam but they are incredibly important because they form the zooxanthellae inside corals. Corals are animals which grow in shallow water because these dinoflagellate zooxanthellae perform photosynthesis and provide much of the energy for the coral. These coral reefs therefore are incredibly important for fish populations, but they wouldn't exist if it weren't for the dinoflagellates living inside the coral animals. And because of human impact on the environment, these zooxanthellae are bleaching from the corals. Many corals throughout the world are losing their zooxanthellae, and this is a major ecological problem. If conditions are right, dinoflagellate populations can greatly increase, causing what's called a bloom, where millions and millions of dinoflagellates are present in a liter of seawater. This is really neat to watch if these are the bioluminescent dinoflagellates, which can release a burst of light when a predator enters the water. However, this can be very dangerous if the dinoflagellates in question produce dinotoxins which affect the nervous system. They are capable of killing fish and accumulating in shellfish, which in turn may poison people who eat these shellfish. This phenomenon can be called a red tide because this bloom of dinoflagellates can add a reddish hue to the water.